Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. You like how I changed up the intro there? But yes, we are back with another Ken Terraria boss to survive. Let's get right into it. We are using the Pestilence from the Echoes of the Ancients mod. As you can see, infinite damage, zero critical strike chance, warning, may break some enemies. I'm ready. Let's see it in action here. Let's just swing on some dummies. Let's swing on multiple if we can. Kind of. We have to get a little close to swing on multiple. Not really. It's seems like a single target thing. All right, let's just swing on one then. As you can see, the damage goes into negative sometimes. What the hell? Is that just because of like, what's it called? The integer shit? Some coding sort of thing where there can't be too many numbers. There can't be too many spawns. Something like that. I don't know. I've been told about it a bunch of times. I haven't really like looked at how corrupt my world is but god damn <laughs> there's a corruption here hollowed here corruption here hollowed there corruption here or crimson here crimson there corruption actually over here this, this world's a little messed up but let's get to it game writers i think you meant to say let's get to today's sponsor today's sponsor is the lovely people at e lived e lived specializes in creating standing desks and standing desk converters standing desks are the new wave in having a healthier happier and more productive desk lifestyle the desk they sent me was super easy to to assemble and was ready to be used right away. The desk comes with dual motors which makes the desk raise and lower fast and quietly. I don't know how many of you watching have a standing desk or not but they honestly are amazing. You would think sitting down all the time while playing games would be more comfy but being able to stand up and stretch your legs while still being able to play games and work is honestly a great experience. This desk has been a great addition to my work area. I feel like I've been more productive ever since I've gotten my hands on it. Did I mention it comes with a built-in headphone and surge protector Holder, all the more reason to get your hands on this desk shout out to eliv for giving me the opportunity to show off this desk make sure you guys use my link in the description and let's get back to the video i'm gonna do a whole new area i'm going up here apparently i've been up here before for a video i don't remember when but let's start up here starting with the king slime of course the game's gonna lag when we kill him damn he he's jumping there we go you know, the first enemy, I got two treasure bags. Maybe I spawned in two at once. But yeah, the first enemy in the world that I always spawn in, it always lags a little bit when I kill him. All good. All good. Where'd my sword go? Let's, let's try again. No, I kept the, oh, I threw the sword out when I was throwing out everything. Okay. Am I like accidentally spawning in two bosses at once? No, I don't think I am. We're just getting two treasure bags. Let me uh, favorite this so I don't throw it out again. But there you go. There's the first set of bosses here. Let's get the queen bee out of here, of course. And, you know, let's do Lepus and Turkor while we're up here. Lepus, don't jump too high. I know we're in space. Don't jump that high. You know, since we are using the Echoes of Ancients mod, we might actually fight some Echoes of Ancient bosses uh, towards the end or maybe towards the middle. I don't know. Whenever I feel like it's a good time. But for now, let's go ahead and just stick with the usuals, of course. A brain of Dulu, this one might take a while to kill just because there's a lot of eyeballs and it seems like this sword is a single target sword as we were having troubles hitting dummies earlier but single target or not it still does great damage kind of interested to see how it works on the eater then is it gonna be a one tap no it's gonna be a multiple tap this might take a while this might take a while as long as the boss dies in the end you know that's fine so i don't remember if i've ever done anything with the echoes of ancients mod maybe like one video ever if i'm thinking about the mod that i think it is it's the one with like two worm bosses right i think so yeah i think i did one video ever with these bosses and it's updated a lot since there's a lot of cool things here and the sprites are a lot cooler than they were in the past i'll put the video on the screen if i remember it right here all right we're gonna fight the wall flesh but of course we have to fight the dark mage first i would never forget dark mage get him out of here and then let's take on the wall flesh we are on the right side of the map Oh, that was a nice swift kill. We're on the right side of the map, of course, adding in more boxes on this side. Now, I feel like in the past, I have broken boxes every now and then uh, just to get them out of the way. But as of recently, I obviously have not tried to break any of the boxes. We are trying to make a box collection before I end up just leaving this world. You know what I'm saying? Because there is going to be a video or maybe a stream where we like reminisce over all the old videos on this world and all the old memories and stuff. And then we're going to make a whole new world or go to the laboratory. We'll, we'll see what happens. Can't wait to start being able to do this series in 1.4. I heard we got some uh, Team Mod Loader 1.4 news 
today, the day I'm recording this. I'm, I'll have to look into it later. But I'm assuming it's good news because like I said in the past, I'm, I've seen people like say they're already like testing and stuff. People porting their mod and already coding everything for 1.4, which is nice to see in here. Let's fight the golem and plantera. Kind of a one tap. I don't know. I kind of hit his hand first on accident. I'm noticing the game freezing a lot today when I uh, one tap a boss. I don't know what's up with that. All right, Duke, you know what time it is. See you later. And then let us go ahead and fight the old one army bosses. Of course, they're not under the boss tab for some reason. Ogre, uh, that's a frogfish. Ogre, boom, right there. He's got the small picture. Damn, look at the drops. Look how many drops I got from him. Not including the treasure bag for Thorium, but the Octopod and the Squire Shield. You know, when I was hunting for drops in the Master Mode Summoner playthrough back when that was the thing, I would never get what I want. That's just how it is. Same thing, I think a couple of times in the bow playthrough, I tried the old one's army to try and get the bow. Never got it. I might be wrong though. Like, I, I barely remember the bow playthrough and if I even fought the old one's army at all for the bow. But if I'm remembering correctly, I'm pretty sure we did. All right, let's knock out the morning wood, of course. The pumpkin before he flies away. He flew away, God damn it. Okay, hold up. Grab him. And then go like this. Oh, what a combo. I actually have the, uh, well, I usually have the wiki up every episode just in case I miss some things. But like, this is the first time I'm like looking at the wiki, the boss list, and then I'm like doing them in the order the wiki has them labeled, at least in terms for uh, these recent set of bosses. Ice Queen, we're gonna have to grab her real quick. You're not going anywhere, bitch. No, 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 no. She got away. Try this again. I didn't expect her to fly that direction. So that, that's why I, I missed her with the swing. And last but not least, the Martian Saucer. Fuck this boss in 1.4. I hate this boss. Made the boss a little too decent in 1.4. I don't like that. I like when they're easy. The boys. How are you doing, the boys? Man, it's been a minute since I've seen you. I feel like it's actually been a while since we did the last episode. But first, before I murder the boys, we got to kill Akram. Oh. My game is frozen. Holy, what was that? The sword isn't lying when it says that it may break some enemies. It like duplicates every enemy it kills. Maybe that's why it's freezing. I don't know. But yeah, I'm sorry, boys. It has to happen. He, he knew that was coming. Let's just go ahead and sit here and swing. Actually, I should get in the UFO just in case. There we go. I don't care about breaking any speed records today. What the fuck? Why is there? Oh, because we kill. Oh, <laughs> okay. Interesting. This is like eternity mode right here. They do this in eternity mode, don't they? Or this is this is gonna be like when 1.4 team modeler comes out, this is gonna be like master master mode. Two pillars or eight pillars in total. Something like that. I, I know some mods are gonna do it if they haven't already. Let's go ahead. Let's get to killing. We gotta kill an extra amount of pillars this time. I don't know, maybe two moon lords will spawn in. No? We killed four pillars already. Maybe it's because we didn't kill four different pillars. Yep, there you go. Uh, you know, might as well kill all of them. Have two moon lords spawn, I, I guess. Uh, I don't see no reason not to. Actually, maybe it's only one. Let me go somewhere where I never go, like this weird mushroom island. <laughs> and we'll fight the moon lord here. I'm gonna try and hit him in his eye right when he spawns. Look at that. Get him out of here. All right, next boss. What do we usually do? Oh, let's fight the uh, Dungeon Guardian. I want to see if we can kill the Dungeon Guardian. Calamity Dungeon Guardian. Yes, we can. Which probably means that we could take on the Eidolon Worm, right? Oh my god, yes, we can. Beautiful. This weapon has been beautiful so far. No loud noises, nothing. You know, the duplication of bosses is a little bit annoying. But uh, other than that, this weapon has been flawless. All right, let's fight the uh, mutant now. Let's probably go to a better area for this. Let's go over here near where we would fight dog or where we always fight dog. And let's spawn in the mutant. What's up, bro? Let me come over here. Let me one tap you. Come over here. Why are you running? All right, you know what? Uh, let's bait him this direction. And then we're going to go back towards him. God is ass. No death animation either. And he dropped a treasure back. Noticing that the uh, Echoes of Ancients mod has spawned in some ore at my uh, <laughs> dog arena. Okay, interesting. All right, I was editing the video, completely forgot about the uh, Thorium bosses here. So here we go. Let's kill them. Oh. I forgot the game freezes. All right, Abyssion, all three of them. We only got two treasure bags. Interesting. <laughs> but there you go. All three versions of Abyssion dead. And then let's fight the Dream Eater, of course. Get him out of here. There you go. There's the Thorium bosses. Let us go ahead and fight the Devourer Gods. All right, come over here. God is that. Oh my God, what happened? Is that supposed to happen? I've never seen this happen before. His body's just frozen. The music's still playing. So I'm assuming phase two, right? Oh, look at this. I could break all his parts. Shit, might as well. You know, might as well. 
Are you honestly that bad at dodging? Bro, you're fucking dead. So yeah, I don't think a phase two is gonna spawn from that. So let me spawn him in again. I'm gonna kill him with the uh, tome. And then now we wait for his phase two. You can't even see me. I'm just straight up covered in his body parts. Phase two. Where you at? Got his ass. See, he didn't even know I was there. I was hiding behind his old body. All right. Let's take on, of course, the other Calamity bosses. And then we'll check out the Echoes of Ancient bosses. Or one or two of them. I don't know. We'll see. I'm hoping this is going to be like an insta kill. So I don't have to. Yep. All right. I didn't want to have to deal with that. Because I know some Yarn fights get a little long. Same thing with Cal fights. They also get a little long. So uh, hopefully... I can just walk up in one tap. All right, she's kind of down there. It's fine. We'll wait this out. Hey, the sepulcher. Let's kill his ass. And then now we can kill Supreme Kalma. Just sit right here because doesn't she dash at us eventually? Okay, she doesn't dash at us. Uh, I thought she did. You know what? Let me just. There we go. <laughs> and of course, sepulcher's body's still here. Can I play with it? Kind of, not really. I guess might as well uh, clean it up before I leave this area. All right, Echoes of the Ancients. So we have the worm bosses, Destruction and Creation, and then there's Infernal Guardian, and then there's Galahiz. Galahiz, I don't know. Maybe I should like look on the wiki real quick. Let me see if they have a wiki. Okay, they do indeed have a wiki. This guy wasn't on there, the Infernal Guardian. I don't know if he's like a mini boss or what. But Creation and Destruction, they were together as a boss. They're post Moon Lord, and then Galahiz his was by himself so bouncing eyeball so this is what we do here we go to the mod or in the cheat sheet uh menu we try and find the spawns i have no idea okay this one looks like this spawns in creation and destruction or whatever the hell their name was uh we have something that will tell us kill three sunstruck slimers in the desert during day oh, that was very specific okay I'm, I'm on it i guess uh, hopefully this desert is still considered a normal desert sunstrike slimers sunstruck slimers there they are Gala his awaken. See you later. Uh, he's a cool looking boss. Don't get me wrong, but uh, he's he's just a hard mode boss. So he's he was bound to get insta killed. Now we have creation and destruction. It doesn't matter where we spawn them in. All right, let's uh let's just go up in the sky here and let's just spawn them in. Dead and I can't swing my sword at least not yet. Dead. Hey, the weapon is from the mod, so if you can get this weapon without cheating, like it's it's not too bad. But I'm assuming it's a cheat weapon. It better be. But there you go. We killed creation and destruction. But you guys already know what time it is. It's time for our last set of bosses. Of course, Act Death and Ugandan Knuckles again. What item do I use? Ugandan treasure. Alright, let's see it. I'm gonna just stand right here and kill him. Yep. <laughs> See you later. Hey, he would have killed me if he touched me. So it's good that I did kill him perfectly like that. And it is time for Act Death. Of course, Act Death is still my favorite boss to fight. We'll see what happens when we fight even stronger bosses that I'm being told about every time I record an episode of this. But that's not until like episode 25 or 30. I don't remember what number I said. Act Death time, baby. And just like that, Ek Death has been defeated and my game crashed. That's amazing. All right, so this weapon easily can be put in the Hall of Fame group. It's a great weapon. Shout out the Echoes of the Ancients mod and shout out this person for suggesting using the weapon from the mod. But yeah, make sure you guys check out the mod itself. It's a pretty decent content mod, uh, fairly smaller than the other ones, but you know, usually the ones that don't get that much notoriety are usually, they're hidden gems. But yeah, I just looked at the uh, Team Mod Loader news while my game crashed and i was waiting for it to load they're very close i'll put the post up on the screen here if i remember it says they're pretty close they also said that they pretty much fixed the out of memory exception stuff which is when you have too many mods and stuff installed which sounds amazing they also said like they're making it so the mods can be even like bigger and better in terms of like what they could do so i'm hyped for team mod loader 1.4 it's gonna be a good time again make sure you guys leave suggestions for more op weapons you want to see in these videos and i'll see y'all next time Okay, have a great one.